Hey everyone, happy new year. It's 2022 already, that went fast. I'm Kelly Levine, the Closet Coach. I help homeowners and designers design closets that work. And uh, today we're gonna talk about something a little bit different. Um, I had talked about Ikea a while back and today I'm gonna talk about the Container Store Alpha system. Before I do, I wanna say um, I am not an expert in this system. This is the only time I've really ever dealt with it, but I think I have a unique perspective since there was some issues with it and I got um, you know, to work with the, con the Container Store directly. When we first moved out here to Idaho, I got a call from a person who had ordered a system from the container store. We don't live near a container store. So everything that she did, she did online with the person and they sent it to her and she thought that she could install it. Um, but she quickly realized that she really, that she didn't have the, the skills or the time or the desire to try to weed through it and install it all. So she had called, I knew somebody who could install it. And, and so he went out there and as soon as he started installing, he gave me a call because he could tell right away that it wasn't going to work. There were some dimensions that weren't quite right. It's, it was a very unique closet. So today um, I've, I've got a couple of videos that I actually made in the closet. So I'm going to play those. I, um, they seem to get a little bit rocky, but um, hopefully you can bear with me on that. So I'm going to share my screen like I always do, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit about this first. Okay, so if you're looking for this um, system, if you like what you see after you see this video, you're going to want to look for, you know, these logos. Um, the container store is the name of the company. Alpha is the system. And you'll kind of see what it looks like. It's, it's different than what I'm used to. But let's talk about, let's talk about this space. The space that she had um, here is her space. I'm going to move my thing so I'm not turning away so much. Um, this, is, this is the plan view of the space. And if you've been with me before, you know the plan view is looking as if you're looking down uh, from the top at the closet. And so the first thing that's noticeable is that this closet is very narrow. It's only, um, I don't know, I can't see this writing, but it's, it was like 42 inches. Um, and the other thing is that there's two doors. There's a door here and a door here, and they both open into the space, which makes this, you know, really challenging. So um, I think it's easier to look at this one from the, um, from the elevation views that they gave. But this is the wall that, hmm, I don't know why this page is here. This page does not need to be there. Okay, so this wall A here is what we were looking at here. So a couple things, you know, they, they did a lot right. This, this wall is the one that she's going into from her bedroom. So they had some shelves here. They had some pull-out baskets here. Um, and then they had gone up quite high. Now, one of the things is that this shows that the closet was 120 inches tall, and it actually was 110 so, you know, right away, all, a lot of this couldn't work because it wasn't that tall. The other wall, <clears throat> since it's such a narrow space, you can't, you cannot get, you know, really, you can't have hanging on this side and hanging on this side as well. They'll hit each other because remember, clothes hang out 22 inches. So you need 44 inches of space and then there'd be nothing to walk through. So they had left this wall open, except for these shelves, which would have been where this door was. So that would have worked out fine. Um, but what happened when they sent everything? Now, the notes here say, I don't know if you can see this, but the notes here say this section is 13 and a half in depth, except the top shelf at 16. But what happened when they sent it was that everything was 16. Okay, so besides this being too deep, they also had hanging here. 
Now remember, there's going to be a door opening here. So that door would have hit that hanging. So that definitely wouldn't work. Um, I think this is a good point. I'm going to show you the first video that I took as we were um, doing this. Bear with me if it's choppy. I hope that it, it can, it's going to play um, pretty smooth. But let's look at this from inside the closet. Oops. The coach coming to you from the Coeur d'Alene area. We just moved and that's why I haven't been doing many videos, but I have a super interesting closet that I want to show you today. Had somebody call who ordered an alpha system and um, she wasn't sure because she had thousands of boxes <laughs> and she wasn't sure if she should use it or if she should, you know, do something totally different. Anyway, it ended up that she's using it. I got her a wonderful installer and we're, um, he's kind of in the process right now. So um, I want to show you this closet. This video is going to be kind of a little bit of everything. I'm going to be showing you the closet. I'll probably be doing, I'll show you the drawings of what we had to go through to get this design right. And then I will show you the finished closet, which is going to be super fun. So here's the deal with this uh, closet. I'm going to move, sorry for the move, movement. And actually, let's see. Shoot, I can't switch it. Okay, so here is the closet. So there's a door on this side. I'm standing in her bedroom right now. There's a door on this side. As you walk through, you can see that this is a very narrow space. The door, here's one of the challenges. The door opened up and these shelves right here are 12 inches. The original design had those at 16 and the door was hidden. So we had to do some reconfiguring of that. So, but you've got a door on that side. Then as you can see, it's very narrow. It's only 43 inches wide, I believe. And you can see we've got the same situation on the other side with the door opening into a shelf. Um, so we've got a nice big wall here and a nice big wall here. Now, without anything in this closet, it would appear fairly decent size, like you could get hanging on both sides. But with these doors and when you get hanging clothes in here, as I've talked about many, many times, you have no space to move. So I'll, sh well, I'll show you the design later, but, but that's, that's really the challenge. She also has high ceilings, which she wanted to utilize. And the narrowness also makes that a little bit of a challenge, which you'll see later as well. So I just want to show you uh, um, what you might be dealing with if you are going to order an alpha system and try to install it yourself. This is part of the boxes, <laughs> okay? It, this is, um, these are, you know, what I would call semi-custom. Um, and so it does come with instructions and things like that, but this is not for the faint of heart. It's not a five minute job. You gotta know how to read plans. You've gotta potentially know how to cut metal. Um, you definitely need, you know, some tools and, um, you need to know what you're doing. So um, that is the closet. So here it is again from the other side. So really a unique space. Um, but I know that a lot of people have, you know, some homes that have unique spaces. So love talking about this. I'm going to come back later when my installer has got this all done and show you guys the finished product. Probably in between, I'm going to uh, use my computer and show you the design and stuff like that. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so luckily that wasn't too choppy. So again, here was the design. I hope showing you inside that closet made it a little bit more realistic of what was actually there. So again, just a couple things that weren't right. Never should have had hanging here because the door was going to hit it. 16 inch deep shelves which they weren't really supposed to be, but they all came 16 inch. So that obviously wasn't going to work. Um, uh, this side, 
Um, I think they had 16 inch on this side that that obviously wasn't going to work either. So here's what um, we did. And I do want to say that the person at closet um, or the container store who I worked with was very responsive. She, you know, really um, worked with the client and myself to get this where the design would work. And, you know, obviously I'm not an expert in their system. So there were some things that I didn't know about their module sizes. So she helped us work through that as well. So here's what we ended up with um, for the design. Um, this is actually, I flipped it around. So this is wall um, C, that's her bedroom up there. So here's where those deep shelves were hitting. Um, so we designed those to be less. Then we did um, more box, more baskets. Oops, sorry, I keep thinking that it's the computer. Then, you know, this section right here, we did some hanging. And then I was able to get one more basket in there for her as well. And, and um, actually, this isn't the final one because um, it was a little bit different. This was a, my first um, go around, and then we sent it to the person at, at Container Store. Okay, and then we had some long hanging and some more double hanging. So that's what I drew up and gave to the person. And then we also made everything, all of the upper shelves on this side, 12 inches, and that 12 inches as well. Um, you'll see that in the video that you need some space there to get anything up into that, up onto those shelves. Okay, so here are the, is the design um, that they sent me back from the container store. One of the things that you'll notice if we count up the um, inventory on this is that I got a lot more shelves in there. This particular person had a lot of shoes that she wanted to get in this closet. So we added a lot more shelves so that she could get a lot more folding and stuff. We corrected the height. So this system went, you know, the bar went right up to the top, but we really were only able to get, you know, the, the shelf right here, which is still going to be really useful. So she had hanging here, but since we lost that hanging over here, we added a section of double hanging here and then another section for shorter items like tank tops and things like that. And then a long section below that. Okay, so they flipped it around for me based on the sizing of their, their stuff. This made a little bit more sense to have all of this short and, um, so I got 96 inches of hanging in this space. They got 90 inches. So we got a little bit more, but not a whole lot. The client was happy with that amount of hanging. She, she understood that it was a very small closet. Really, this area right here is the only area that you could have any hanging because of the way the doors went. And she did really want drawers. So I think we maximized the amount of hanging. She got um, more drawers. We were able to get six instead of five. And then um, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 shelves, and they had 11. Um, in that, you know, in those spaces. So we got a lot more of that in there. And then she got some um, deeper, deeper upper, no, these are the shallow upper shelves. These are the deeper upper shelves for some extra um, hanging. I think um, here's some pictures of the closet when it was done. You can see that the space here, the door can open fully. She's got, you know, one of the things about this system is you can, you know, dress it up or you can keep it pretty simple. You, you've got, you know, these um, faces, you've got pieces that go over the bars. I will say there are a lot of pieces to make this type of system look, you know, more finished off. There's not, you know, sharp edges and things like that that are left open, even though it is kind of sort of a wire system. Um, it's put up with these, you know, tall members. So it is adjustable. Um, but again, you've got to kind of know the dimensions of how much you need for hanging and that type of thing, if you're designing this. Now they do have designers that walk, walk you through this, but um, 
you can see in this case, the designer got it wrong. But like I said, it ended up to be okay. So here's the other, um, you can see her long hanging here and that the shorter hanging there. And then here's what I was talking about. And it, it shows up in the video as well that you've got a 12 inch up here and a 16 over here. We staggered these in height as well so that you could get stuff up there. If they were right at the same height, you can see that there's not a whole lot of space in there and it shows up even more on the video. Um, but you can see she's got plenty of room for shoes and a few sweaters on these shelves, even though they're closer together. Um, to give her more, more room for shoes. All right, so I think it turned out really nice. So I'm gonna close by playing the other video. Whoops, by playing the other video. Um, I do kind of a closing in that video, so I'm not gonna come back and do a closing again, but um, thanks for being here. Let me know if you have any challenges um, and we'll just keep, keep moving forward. Okay. There's links below. I think I say that in the other video. So I'll just be quiet and go ahead and play that video. Here we go. It's all done. It looks pretty good. These systems are different than what I'm used to working with, but I think for this very narrow um, closet, it's actually really nice because it's nice and air free and open. Okay, so I'll show you the finished product. So you remember before you kind of could see the shoe shelves that we had started. And so I've got a few pair of shoes on there. These are 16 inch deep shelves. They go all the way up to about 18 inches from the ceiling so she can put, put some large things up there. As I mentioned before, one of the challenges in this closet is that it's so narrow. So if you guys can see this space in here is what I was talking about. That's the challenge for even having those shelves up there and utilizing the area above these doors. So what we did is we just staggered the 12 inch side a little bit so that, you know, she could get stuff up there easier. And then if needed, those can either be raised or lowered too. Um, but by not putting them side by side, it leaves a little bit more room to get the stuff up onto the 16 inch deep shelves. So we've got the shoe shelves here. We've got um, a hanging area and some pull-out baskets here. So that'll be really nice. The nice thing about having these at the front of the closet is that she can actually stand in the doorway while she's opening these. So there's more room. She doesn't have to stand with her back against the wall and try to open these. Okay, so these are are just some of the things that you want to think about is you know how are you going to use this space and then we're going to, she's going to have hanging above the drawers and and then this is her mid hanging you can see we've got this just so it's not touching the floor so we wanted to utilize this for two hanging spaces this will be shorter items as you can see that works out fine for short items there Okay, and then of course we've got more shoe shelves slash folding shelves on this side. Sorry, I'm trying not to move too much, but you can see those there. Okay, so as you're walking in, you've got hanging. This will be double hanging. There's another rod down here that you guys can't see. The drawers and the shoes, and then she'll have lots of storage above and also i know she's really creative and this place is, is really super cute so i would suggest and i know what she's going to do is put some decorative hooks maybe some you know things to hang jewelry that kind of thing and utilize this wall as well so yeah when you've got tight spaces it can be done but you really do have to think it through thanks for joining me kelly levine the closet coach i help designers homeowners professional interior designers, design closets that work. Check out my links below. It's been so long since I did a video. I can't even remember what I say to code. Okay, check out my links below. Where you can get um, the uh, inventory worksheet and it'll also point you to the four videos that are kind of the start starting video places. All right, I've got had a couple um, viewers give me some ideas for future
closets. So more to come. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Thanks for being here.